Hello to everyone. Welcome back again into our lesson video. In this lesson video, we're just going to choose the correct words from those in the brackets. Where I'm just going to unwind the correct word that best resonates or that best fits in the sentence. So for instance, we have groundwater and water table with the sentence. So I'm just going to unwind the correct word. Okay? All right, this is geomorphology, by the way. So groundwater or the water table is the upper limit of the saturated zone in the rocks below the surface of the earth. All right, the correct answer there, meaning that this basically means that is the upper limit of the saturated rocks below the earth surface, the groundwater or the water table. That's the water table. All right, yeah. However, water table is the part of the groundwater. I can say that the water table is the upper or is the maximum level of the groundwater. That's it. Straightforward. That's the water table. So, for instance, if maybe let's say we have um, groundwater underneath the earth surface, so you should know that the uppermost level there is the water table. All right? Yes. Okay, so that was 2.2.1. Let's move to 2.2.2. The river mouth or source is the area where the river flows into an ocean, sea or lake. So what's it? The river mouth. Mind you that the river mouth is in the lower course, meaning that the last part of a river when the river enters the ocean. So that basically means that that's the mouth, okay? That's the mouth. The source and the source is the mind you that the source this is whereby the river starts, where the river starts, and it's in the in the upper course. Um whereby in the upper course um in the high lying area or in the mountain, in the hill, or very very high lying area where we find the primary tributary. That's the source. Alright, the correct the correct one there is the mouth, okay? Yes, so the mouth is the area where the river flows into an ocean, sea or lake. So let's move to 2.2.3. The drainage basin or river system consists... So sorry about that. Um, let's just restart that so that I don't confuse you. Alright. The drainage basin or river system consists of all tributaries and the main river or stream. All right, look, so the correct answer here is the river system. Why? Because it's, it's high likely to confuse the two for most students. Most students would get um, wrong there, okay? Because look, the drainage basin, let me first ex explain, because um, the sentence stresses the fact that we talk about all tributaries and the main river. When you talk about all tributaries and the main river, that's a river system. That's a system. So that we can say, okay, this is a river. Okay? Yes. Look now, when you talk about the drainage basin, a drainage basin is an area. We focus on the area that is drained by the river and its tributaries. When you talk about drainage basin, we talk about an area that's on the line um, drained, area drained by the river and its tributaries but now we're talking about the tributaries and the river only that's a river system hope you understand it let's move to 2.2.4 so 2.2.4 says water that flows over the surface of the earth before entering a river is known as a channel or a sheet flow which is it is it a channel flow or a sheet flow mind you that the water is outside the river mean that it's just on the surface running through to our river or to our streams just before it meets the streams or the river so that's a sheet flow or the surface runoff okay that's the sheet flow okay yes before entering a river that's the sheet flow when you talk about the channel a channel um it's, it's a river channel like um is the water that is running through inside the river bed all right yeah let's move to 2.2.5 2.2.5 says a smaller river that flows into the main river 
stream or a stream is known as main rivers confluence or tributary it's a tributary it's a tributary so you know that tributary is this are those small streams that you are likely to find around the river I mean that are those small streams that that um, are passing water to the mainstream that's it or to the main river when you talk about the confluence a confluence is this is whereby or is a point okay a confluence is a point whereby the water bodies from the tributary are meeting the water bodies in the in the mainstream that's it's that point let's say this this is the tributary and this is the mainstream so if this is a tributary you know that inside the tributary we have water and we have also water inside there passing through inside the mainstream okay moving downwards so at this particular point you are going to find the confluence a point whereby the water bodies of the tributary meets the water bodies inside the the mainstream so that's it's that specific point okay let's move to 2.2.6 2.2.6 says a highlining area between two areas so sorry between two rivers in the same drainage basin is a or an interflow or watershed so we talk about the the highlining area right right now in the same drainage basin let's underline same drainage basin in the same same drainage basin this is uh, these are the other um, terms that students are most likely to confuse look we're talking about the highlining area that is found within the very same drainage basin and that highlining area is dividing two two rivers or it's dividing two streams that is known as an interflow that is an interflow why it's not an why watershed is wrong it's because a watershed is found whereby or a watershed is a highlying area that divides two different drainage basins let's say for example at this point we have drainage basin one this is our drainage basin one let me just draw one this is drainage basin one with the tributaries small tributaries there um, let's just say this is drainage basin one and here is the highlining area okay the stripes represent highlining area guys which is the what which is the watershed and we have drainage basin two on the other side we have drainage basin two okay i think you can see i think you can see let me just move a little bit all right i hope you can see right now and that's it so that's drainage basin two so we have drainage basin one drainage basin two so watershed is the one that divides or the highland area that divides drainage basin one and drainage basin two whereas let's move a little bit so sorry guys i'm so sorry let's move a little bit whereas a watershed so sorry whereas an interflow is found it's a highland area that is found within the very same drainage basin that divides two two highland two um rivers so it's a highland area that divides two like highland areas so sorry so an interflow is a highland area that divides two rivers within the very same drainage basin so a watershed is a highland area that divides two different drainage basins i hope you understand it i hope you get it guys so let's move to 2.2.7 so 2.2.7 says a permanent or temporary base level of erosion is found where a river flows into the sea or, or to the ocean so that is a permanent base level so a permanent base level of erosion is found where the river flows into the ocean so you find permanent base level there because why it is because there is less vertical erosion in the lower course that's that's the answer all right yes because there's more flat erosion so the erosion that takes place in the riverbed is 
is um is 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 is, is, is less okay yes so there is less lateral um, vertical erosion and there's more um yes that's how it goes so that's it and that's uh, the end guys so but by the way the temporary base level is um the base level that is temporary it's just temporary but then like um it's it's it's, it's like for example your waterfalls or repeats and an end okay yes and they are most likely to be found in the upper course all right whereby there is more of roughness um rocks uh, and an end and there is more of the vertical erosion there that is why you find temporary base level and that's the end of all this thing have a good day cheers bye